uh, will define administrative effort to achieve the next level of welcome dear student i am kanaiya jha and uh, today we will discuss a very interesting aspect of public administration it is the development administration you know very well this topic falls under the unit 8 unit 8 comprises the different aspect of development administration here you know very well over the time what happened with public administration public administration are as you know refers to both as an activity as a a uh, domain as a subject so it is as a subject or as a activity prevail uh, in our society what happens when in 1887 1887 it was the american scholar woodrow wilson recognized acknowledged that the administrative breakdown become inevitable issue and this will hamper our american society so he wrote a essay an essay it was the study of administration then he insisted universities and scholar to delve into the administration this was the formal beginning of the subject public administration in the year 1887 thereafter what happens you know very well several contribution whether it is scientific management theory whether it is administrative management theory given by fayol again bureaucratic theory again dynamic administrative theories by np folate human relation theory so this way this way the we have your own theory public administration is started its journey what happens meanwhile by 1950 means after the second world war situation suddenly changed multiple factors stresses that the traditional approach of administration their theories and principle will not provide any solutions particularly to the country who newly emerged from the colonial darkness colonial suppression so several factor by 1950 we can identify here some are related with the practical change some are related with the theoretical change or interpretation what happens so very first incident occurred and you know very well by 1950s more than 80 country from africa and asia become independent from the colonial suppression colonial darkness now there were the similar kind of problems like they were marred lagged with poverty unemployment lack of infrastructure water education even housing even the food at the cereals so this was the very grim condition in the year 1950 that faced by the newly independent country meanwhile what happens so a uh, comparative public administration group in the year 1960 organized by some motivated a scholar to identify the characteristics of different countries with respect to the administration and on the basis of that they attempted to uh, decide the best theories and the principle for public administration to so this stresses the need for explanation of the administrative system again there after what happens so united nation uh united nation is started some development assistance program and this program was for newly independent country 
विदाउट नोइंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव इवन सोशियो इकोनॉमिक आस्पेक्ट द प्रोग्राम कैन नॉट बी लेट डाउन सो दिस वॉज द रीजन्स ड्यूरिंग दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम एंड फाइनली इट स्ट्रेसिस और इट चैलेंज द ट्रेडिशनल पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड इट स्ट्रेसिस इट एम्फेसाइज दैट पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन शुड चेंज देयर देयर सब्जेक्ट देयर इनग्रीडियंट एंड इट मस्ट कंसिडर द न्यू अप्रोच फॉर द वेल बींग ऑफ द इंडिविजुअल्स वेल बींग ऑफ द डाउन ट्रोडन और मार्जिनलाइज कम्युनिटीज सो दिस वॉज द we can say background and in the backdrop of that background what happens so very first it was indian scholar ul goswami and uh, ias officer at that point of time wrote a book which is the title that is the structure of development administration in india the structure of development administration in india this considers the official beginning of the development administration yuval goswami not only used this term very first but also he endorsed he insisted his scholars and government to consider this aspect of uh, administration and government should reorganize their structure as well as functions however the yuval goswami contribution is not very well uh, accepted around the world some a scholar said that it was not yuval goswami particularly feral hedy a renowned scholar says that george gant this person who was the who was the ceo of tennessee valley project so this person must be given credit for the invention of the word development administration interestingly this george gant a uh, later came to india and assisted the construction of damodar valley in india so there is confusion and a uh, different argument is given there but the nut cell is that ul goswami did the foundational work and thereafter it developed now what is the development administration it is the matter so we will discuss this by breaking down both words separate the first word is development and second one is administration so here development administration comprises two separate words that is development and second one is administration here what is the meaning of development so you know very well development can be correlated with the positive growth or progress like suppose the child is here and soon after that he, here the mental and the physical strength of that individual grow that is called the physical and mental development so similarly with respect to administration or here what is the meaning of development so development is basically uh, basically is the process for advancement it is the we can say term used to refer the positive development uh pertaining with social economic cultural even behavioral aspect again administration so you know very well administration is an exercise uh that coordinates that directs that guides man and material for particular objectives so here if we take both together then what will be the meaning of development administration it is a well defined administrative effort to achieve the next level of socio economic status socio economic condition so that is the development administration we discuss here 
वन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग डिफिनेशन मोहित भट्टाचार्य द इंडियन स्कॉलर डिफाइंड इट वेरी वेल मोहित भट्टाचार्य सी इज दैट द डेवलपमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन कैन बी अंडरस्टूड कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज द डायरेक्ट इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ सोशियो इकोनॉमिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अगेन एडवर्ड विडनर अ फेमस स्कॉलर सेड डेवलपमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन इज एक्शन ओरिएंटेड एंड गोन ओरिएंटेड सिस्टम द नट सेल इज दैट द नट सेल इज दैट डेवलपमेंट एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन रेफर्स द वेरी वी कैन से डायनामिक रोल ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द मल्टी फैसेटेड डेवलपमेंट कैरीड आउट बाय द गवर्नमेंट इट इज द स्कूल एजुकेशन इट कॉम्प्राइजेज स्कूल एजुकेशन प्रोवाइडिंग हेल्थ सर्विसेस इट इज कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ रोड इवन कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मल्टीपर्पज प्रोजेक्ट एंड एम अगेन इट इज फॉर सोशल चेंज सो दिस वे the development administration came into the existence and it changed the course of administrative thought and administrative uh, we can say understandings at that point of time at that point of time overall this development administration considered or characterized by the multiple attributes like suppose it is action oriented action means it says it endorses for decentralization it endorses for people participation it endorses for responsive administration so it is the action oriented as well as goal oriented what kind of goal it is so it says that administration should carry out the plan policy pertaining with social economic agriculture industrial growth again it says that measurable targets should be decided for administrative agencies again it says endorses client oriented approach means earlier administration consider themselves as the master of the their subject means they are where the very colonial mentality was there even you know very well bureaucratic theory and the british government we can say so this was the time the pre independence phase it was when administration treated very differently very arrogantly with the citizens it said no you should care the satisfaction of the citizens commitment oriented so it say the 100% dedication for their functions for their work for their goal responsiveness if suppose the deprived person is there if suppose ill person is there if suppose wounded is there in that case it is responsibility of the system to react in favor of that person ecological so it says that one fit for all approach means uh, like henry fiol like suppose taylor endorsed for the very defined set of instrument for the administration it said no that is a uh, very wrong we should consider the history geography polity culture belief of the particular region particular area and thereafter we should design the fresh policy like you know very well what is going on here niti ayog niti ayog drafted a new policy for the very least developed district it is called you know it is aspirational district program and very tailored kind of solution is being provided by the niti ayog for this so it involve innovation innovation what kind of innovation it says that proactive role would be there people participation even ict would there even the the uh, the Uh, social audit kind of thing would be there time orientation so it says that plan must be accomplished within the stipulated time frame socio economic change at participation oriented so this theory now come to the next aspect of this 
this theory uh, came to provide the solution for the administrative system of developing country particularly what happens so they are after government uh, government tuned their administrative apparatus you know very well in the 1960s uh, when community development program and the national extension services were launched by the government they recognized that it is a failed attempt thereafter balwantrai mehta committee came and committee says that uh, we should implement the democratic decentralization and thereafter what we saw so it was the creation of very well designed three tier panchayati raj system inaugurated by the first prime minister jawaharlal nehru so this was the attempt to modify redesign the administrative system in india thereafter what happens so thereafter we saw multiple plan multiple scheme were propounded now now here uh, getting this idea we should uh, understand the very theoretical aspect that is is the development administration is different from the traditional administration or both are the same thing just the name is change uh, theoretically and the nature and the structure are more or less similar so here is a very defined very visible differences like suppose earlier administration so you should just keep in mind the administrative system of the britishers now what was the <coughs> functions of britishers we know very well britishers uh, britishers executed the policy uh, related with law and order management and the revenue administration so the traditional administration deals with the regulatory functions that is essential for maintaining the status quo of the state while this say no status quo cannot provide solution rather we need to carry out a very decisive policy to change the miseries change the conditions of our deprived people it is action oriented goal oriented even it is committed administration again traditional administration if you consider so no individual were allowed to interfere in the matter of administration they consider individual or consumers as the interference as their subject but they say no we provide opportunity to our uh, our people to cooperate with us to participate with us and with participation and collaboration we will develop our society we will uh, move ahead toward the socio economic development this was the idea of this again it says that organizational change so it says that the centralized administration earlier decision were made by the uh, agency located at the center like suppose uh, central government state government has decided the policy the plan for the development they say no this is a rotten this is kind of one fit for all approach so it is very essential imperative to change this system this strategy and we should organize our uh, lower level uh, lower level uh, lower level uh, agencies and we should give them power so lower level agency may provide better services as per the requirement of the local need to so tailored solution it sees at the earlier administration say no uniform solution will be there and this will be the way through which we can make progress or maintain a status quo again participation is there it hindered the participation we take more points that is part of class now after getting the idea development administration now we should 
consider one more aspect here thereafter we handle the next topic very clearly associated with this look here over the time the definition of development change it earlier felt perceived defined uh, merely the economic progress means what was develop uh, what was the nature of development earlier perceived imagined by the scholar they who they said that merely the economic progress including the growth of gdp and per capita income will be the criteria for the development this happened and what happened so government is started investing into the very heavy industries like iron industries was there even the steel plant was there even the fertilizer industries was there even indian government accepted the same model for the development thereafter what happens so we know that this development faulty model of development created the severe issue particularly the environmental degradation here you can see the the uh, the debris here mounted equal to the height of qutub minar in delhi it is the gajipur near to delhi so here what happens this kind of debris this kind of litter become the unavoidable uh, issue again ocean acidification soil pollution air pollution even inequality even uh, the concentration of wealth so my read number of problem over the time emerged due to this faulty model of development later some group of scholar came who came so some group of scholar among them here two are very notable you should consider the rachel carsel the silent spring and the vandana shiva the environmentalist of india both are environmentalist vandana shiva rachel carson both highlighted that due to this uh, uh, exploitation of natural resources on the name of development what happens so now our environment our surroundings degraded enough and it will not support the development any more so this was the condition identified by the scholars there after what comes so there after a thesis uh, came and it called anti development thesis here now you can understand what is the meaning of anti development thesis so anti development thesis is not contradictory to the development rather it says that your model is faulty and you should consider development as an whole as a holistic approach that is the environmental uh, development that is the social development that is the cultural development that is your political development institutional development administrative development so soon after that we can consider here the development and the strategy dramatically change and this culminated this culminated into the the multi stakeholder strategy now you know very well uh, like sustainable development uh, sustainable development uh, uh, sustainable development plan at policy so it was 1987 when brooklyn commission of united nation recommended for the sustainable development so new strategy for development letter came what letter united nation organized earth summit in 1992 to incorporate the idea of sustainable development with the economic development again there after you know very well millennium development goal came sustainable development goal came and all such country accepted this idea so here now again what happens in india earlier we implemented the socio economic development 
strategy thereafter we accepted inclusive sustainable and equitable growth strategy so this these are the change now we can identify with the development strategy development administration the nut cell is that what is the nut cell here so development administration is the concept of public administration uh comprises the very dedicated effort for socio economic change it is quite different from traditional administration reason behind it it is characterized by goal oriented the result oriented responsiveness even participation even timeliness even uh, even uh, even resilience so this kind of characteristics of development administration over the decades the nature of development administration changed earlier it was merely economic development now it considered as the overall development that is result of the advent of the anti development thesis now let me know can we say our development strategy for overall development is enough so no there is an issue what is the issue you know very well uh we are facing structural imbalance what is structural imbalance here so the bureaucratic mechanism in india created by the britishers colonial ruler for what purposes for maintaining the rule regulations and the regulatory operations now we said that go and continue or go and deliver the services related with the development of people with the same mentality same structure same procedure same manner they almost fail to do or to uh, achieve anything that is the that is why the criticism against bureaucracy raised by the critics critics says that this bureaucratic structure is faulty reason behind it it avoids people participation it avoids uh, the very prompt decisions it it hinders the interference of people it hinders even uh, the accountability and the responsibility so there are a structural problem here again some attitudinal problem here like suppose uh, bureaucrats to bureaucrats usually uh feels them superior then the common man so this mentality uh creates the gulf the divide between the administration and the people again if we consider so most of the administrative apparatus has given a uh, duty to accomplish the regulatory work and the development work have avoided again you should consider development work here like construction of bridges like running uh, uh, running suppose uh the multi purpose project suppose education so these require very uh, expertise and that lacks in administration so bureaucracy and administration if we consider bureaucracy and development if we consider so what is the issue here bureaucracy uh, cannot provide 100% solution for this if we are moving ahead for our overall development it require the participation of people it require the engagement with people only then it happens fortunately our indian government has understood this and bureaucratic structure now modified we allow the incorporation of the ngos civil society with multiple government program and policies so this way we can understand this topic it is kind of theoretical uh discussion pertaining with the development it has very multidimensional uh we can say characteristics and that is why it consider one of the core topic of public administration hope you have understood it well in the next lecture we will discuss a new topic thanks for watching